I'm going to quickly go through the steps of Think Circle with you. I will assign writing modules to cover a span of five days. And they're really self-paced because once you lock into Think Circa, you see the whole module at one time. Do know that the faster you get through the early stages means more time to write the essay. So let's take a look at step one. You log in, you click on the title that's there, and it takes you to this page. In green, you see the writing prompt. Would banning junk food in schools teach kids how to make healthy eating choices? That is what you're going to be writing an essay about. You have to make sure you understand the prompt. And that's one of the parts where we'll talk about it during our virtual learning. Because it doesn't say, does banning junk food make kids healthier? It says, does it teach kids how to make healthy choices? One side might say, no, it doesn't teach them to make healthy choices. It forces them to make healthy choices. And there's a difference. Then there's a paragraph to give you an introductory bit to read. And then we have the connect. The connect is an important part because you're going to use this connect information as the first part of your essay. Let's read this. Does your school provide mostly healthful or junky foods for students? And notice the word explain. You have to explain what you've written. Here's my example. And if you saw that little green mark move over, it saves everything I do. I'm also going to have you save this in a Google Doc. My school offers plenty of healthy food. In fact, they require us to take a vegetable and piece of fruit at lunch. In the morning, they don't serve regular Pop-Tarts. They serve whole grain Pop-Tarts. They don't taste so good, but whole grain is supposed to be healthier. That's pretty good. Uh, it filled three lines. It looks like three or four sentences. I don't want a one sentence answer. I want a small little paragraph that starts off with the answer to the question. Once you've done step one, you click the next and we go to step two. Step two is actually reading the passage and you can have it read for you. Should, Should junk, junk food, food be banned, banned in schools? schools? Taking, Taking that, that daily, daily trip, trip through the lunch line. What to choose, what to choose. Chicken nuggets, roll with butter, burger, pizza. Hmm. Maybe those crunchy carrot sticks or that tart orange. Who should be making these choices? And as you can see, it's not a computer reading it. It's actually a voice actor. Once you've read the passage, then it's time to answer these questions. There'll be five of them. I'm just going to click some randomly. I'll click A for each one. And when I hit submit answers, and it, it won't let you submit until you've answered all of them, this screen pops up. These check marks don't mean you're right. The first time we did Think Circa, I saw this and was all excited. We've got all the answers correct. If you don't like your answers, you hit cancel. But if it is what you want, say OK, and then you get your score. I got none of them correct. I should have chosen C. Next, I'll, and I'll go through and tell you what the correct answer is. That is good to help you understand the passage. Then you click next, we go to step three. Well, step three is a little bit time consuming, but it's also very important because now you're going to be gathering your evidence. You're going to be analyzing the arguments written in the Think Circuit essay. Here's the prompt again. Would banning junk food in schools teach kids how to make healthy eating choices? And it tells you what to do with each color. Use aqua to highlight evidence and reasons that support banning junk food in schools to fight obesity. Add notes about how you think you and your classmates might react to this kind of ban at your school. Use pink to highlight evidence and reasoning against, against banning junk food in schools to fight obesity. 
had notes about other ways to fight obesity besides banning junk food. Now, they're giving you some ideas to write about. What are other ways to fight obes obesity? And then how would your classmates feel about banning junk food? The note that you leave would be part of your reasoning, your explanation. So let me click uh, the aqua. And here I see it says approximately one in every six children in the United States is obese. So that's some information that I might want to include in my essay. In my note, I'm going to write an explanation, some reasoning. And I wrote, one in six children may not seem so bad, that's just 17%. But what if one of your fingers is broken? Would you just ignore it? And that's 20%. Then I'll hit save. And all this information is being saved for me. After I've done my aqua and my pink, I click on next. Step four, I'm going to write a summary. Now, if you want to, you can just copy what they've already written for you. Put it in your, you saw the saving thing, put it in the text box. And then just answer these, finish these sentences based on what you've read. Junk food is a problem because... always give you some help in writing your summaries. Once you get those three written, or what are your summary of your own choice, hit next. And now it's time to actually write your essay. You can write this, if you're a real talented writer, you can write this in a Google Doc and then just paste it in at the end. If you need help, they get you started. In fact, it says, need help getting started? They give you a sentence you can begin with. Banning junk food in schools would or would not teach kids to make healthy choices because. And note this right here. Do not begin your claim with I think or I believe. I've been saying that for years. We know that you're the author and therefore we know that these are your thoughts and your feelings. But I can copy this and I can paste it right into this box. And I've added my reason, my because. I'm going to save that. Now, it gives it to you box by box. And I'll put in reason number one. Here's one reason that banning junk food is not the answer. Here's my evidence. We always want evidence from the text. You can add stuff about your own thoughts and your own experiences. But you always want evidence from your text. Reasoning is where I explain how my evidence connects to my claim. I want to have at least two reasons. So I'm going to add reason number two. And, I, and as I said, this is the lengthy part. This is my second piece of evidence. And if I've already given one from the passage and I want to bring in something else, I can do that. But I also, I have to explain it. And every time I finish that box, it saves it. And I want to show you what this looks like. Here's my connect. Here's my summary. Here's my claim. Reason one, evidence one, reasoning one. Reason two, evidence two, explanation two. And when I'm done with this, I can copy this all over, and it'll automatically copy it, and I'll show you that, into a text box. But I'm not done yet. Now I add my counter argument. It says, include at least one good reason why others might disagree with your claim. Other people argue, other people think such and such. Now that's their argument. I'm going to put my rebuttal on there at the end. And now it's been saved. So if I click over here at the next button, it says, create your circa. I want to show a little bit better how these boxes work. I've taken each box, 
and written something lengthier in there. But before I do, I want you to notice that before you start typing, it tells you what goes in this box. Provide reasons why you believe your claim. And that is, you know, eating unhealthy food causes health problems. Then my evidence comes from the paper. And I put all these in. And here's what I want to show you. And when I go to step six, and if I click need help getting started, well, it's going to go through and explain every step again. Here's what the claim is. Here's your sentence stem. Here's what it even gives you sentence stems for evidence, for reasons, for your counter argument, for your conclusion. It tells you to think about your audience. It has some more sentence style stuff for you. I've got three choices. I can use a lot of their example sentences here, but I've already written that in the in step step five. So I can click on your work. And I can say copy all to draft. Now this is important. This summary does not copy over. And this connect does not copy over. So I'm going to highlight that. And I'm going to paste it in here. And let me show you why. Here's the two things I just copied. This is my claim. I'm going to put it up here. By taking my connect and my summary and my claim, I have an introductory paragraph. My school offers plenty of health food. In fact, it requires to take a vegetable and a piece of fruit at lunch. In the morning, they don't serve regular Pop-Tarts. They serve whole grain Pop-Tarts. They don't taste so good, but whole grain is supposed to be healthier. Junk food is a problem because it causes health problems such as heart disease and obesity. Some people are proposing that governments and schools should ban junk food because, and I would have already finished that sentence, Yet some argue personal responsibility is more important to health because I would have finished that sentence. Now I have my, I used the prompt that they gave me for the claim, the sentence stem, and I finished it. Banning junk food in schools will not teach kids to make healthy eating choices. They aren't learning why not to eat junk food. They just aren't being allowed to eat junk food. Now if you look at the rest of this, and I can enlarge this box some for you. It's taken my reason, my evidence, my explanation, my reason, my evidence, my explanation, and put it in as individual sentences. Well, these need to be all put into paragraphs. So my first reason needs to be followed in a paragraph by my evidence. And then that evidence needs to be followed by my reasoning. Now, I've only written one sentence, for the reasoning and for the uh, evidence, you're going to have more than that. My second reason is a second paragraph. I could also make it in, the, in one paragraph. But I have to go through it and I have to delete all the returns so I've got what looks like a paragraph. And then I have this counter argument. I haven't talked about the conclusion yet. Think Sucker really doesn't walk you through that step like it does everything else. So I'll make a separate video when I go into more details about writing introductions and bodies. This one was really just, here's how to use what the program does offer you. As always, if you have questions, come to Google Meets, send me an email, and I'll help you out.